Hello and welcome back to this tutorial series. In the last episodes we created a simple jump and run game. In this episode we want to take a look on the classic Unreal Engine templates. You can find the classic templates under the game section as you can see. Of course blank isn't really a template, it's just a blank project. So the first template we take a look is the third person template. I would recommend to set the quality preset to scalable, in this way it's much more stable. And then we just click create. Inside the third person template we click directly on play to take a look on the template. So we have a character, we can look around, we can walk around with WASD, of course with the arrow keys as well. We can jump, we have the foot animation as you can see. Great. So let's take a closer look. First of all we go to the third person folder blueprints and here we have the blueprint third person character. Let's open them up. And we can close the details for now. We start up with the event graph. In the event graph we set up all the functions and the good part is we have already comments on the different functions that explain the function. In this case we add up the input mapping so the control over the character. We take a closer look on the enhanced inputs with Unreal Engine 5 in later episodes. Then we have the camera input where we look around, left, right, up and down. Just the classic X and Epsilon values here. Then we have the move input where we have the left, right, forward and backwards. Similar system, the X and Epsilon axis here. And then we have the jump input where we just start and complete by a boolean. Nothing special here. Also we have the construction script. We can use this to construct some blueprints but we don't need this in this case. So we can close this one and take a look on the viewport. Here we have a little preview on our character. So we open up the details for this one. We have the animation section, the mesh, the materials etc. So we can change the design for example. The mesh is the skeleton mesh so we have a whole section here. So let's click on this folder here. And as you can see this is the complete setup of the skeleton mesh. We have the male and the female version of the classic character here. And also we have the skeleton. When we open up the skeleton. So here you can see how complicated the skeleton of the classic Unreal Engine mannequin is. So you can animate every section of the body. Let's go back to the blueprint here and we will take a look on the different sections. So we have the third person character itself, so the actor in this case. We have the capsule component, this is the collision in this case. We have an arrow, it's just the integrated part that you can see which direction the character is looking. And then we have the mesh itself. The mesh itself as I explained is the skeleton mesh the animation and the interesting part is it doesn't have a collision itself. So this means when we move it down from the capture collision and then we hit play you can see we are in the ground because only the capture collision is the collision itself not the mesh. So let's do this back here and take a look on the camera boom. The camera boom is the line that you can see the red line the camera, as you can see, is just a part of the camera bum. So when we move it, the camera moves as well. And then we have the character movement itself. So here we can set up many things. But let's focus on the speed, for example. We have the max walk speed, we have the crouch speed. So this means when we set it to, for example, to 1000, we are much faster, as you can see, like that. So you can set up some sprinting animations for example. So the last part and much important one is the animation class. So let's take a look here and go to the folder. We have the Quinn animation and the many animation. The Quinn animation is just a child of the many animation. So let's open this up here. The event graph is just the transfer of variables as you can see. Nothing special here. So we have an update animation that constantly updating the status, in this case of the velocity. So we have the speed, we have the is falling status, so that we know how fast we are and the animation should fit the speed. 
The whole animation is in the animation graph. So when we open this up, you can see we have the locker motion, the main states. So when we open this up here, we have the jump animation as you can see. But let's take a look on the locomotion. In this case, the locomotion is very simple. We have the idle animation, so the character is just standing there as you can see. And then we transfer it to the walk run state. In this case, we can open up the condition here and you can see the condition is should move. And when we want to go back, we have the opposite. So from idle to walk run. When we open up the walk run, you can see it's pretty different. We have not a classic animation, we have a blend space, which is decided by the ground speed. When we open up the walk run, you can see we have a line here, which is depending on the speed. So when we go to nothing, it's pretty slow. When we go up, it goes faster until we run. So we have different animation for different speed. So let's close the animation blueprint here, go back to our character here. And just for example, let's set up the walk speed to 300. This means when we now walk, it's a walking animation. And let's say we go back to our character, open up the event graph and let's say on left shift, we want to change the animation. So we pull out the character movement, want to set the walk speed and we press it to let's say 600 and when we release it back to 300. Don't forget to connect the target here. When we compile and save this, go back to our level and hit play. We walk and when we press shift, we run. When we release it, we walk again. Great! So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.